Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back. It feels great to be back recording videos and streaming once again. It was a great break. If you guys did not know, I was on a little bit of a vacation with the family, but it feels great to be back inside of Team of the Year and with Future Stars upcoming. We have a lot to talk about today. So, Thank you, uh, of course, for supporting during that little break. And of course, for the videos that went up then, just trying to put put up some relevant content, some of the phone videos. Of course, you guys were looking forward to those, some of you guys that have been around for the channel for a while. I hope you enjoyed those, but we're back to the normal content. Usually seeing, I got a new shirt. Look at this, Barcelona. It was $5, right? And this does not have anything to do with the Aubameyang or all of the crazy deadline day stuff that happened yesterday. Anyway, we're here today to talk about future stars and this promo that is leaked. Yes, we're in the middle of team of the year, but future stars is leaked. And uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And there already is future stars related content in the game. So we're going to take a look at that, kind of explain Future Stars again if you're not f thoroughly aware of what this promo is, and of course take a look at the Team of the Year market. What's kind of going on right now is a lot of prices have actually gone up. I think as the Team of the Year content has slowed down, EA's stopping the lightning rounds, the SBCs, I've slowed down for like player SBCs and stuff. Uh, it's kind of just kind of rolling in towards Future Stars. So we'll talk about how the market is reacting because of that and do a little upgrade, or not an upgrade, do it a little, a uh, what do we call this, uh, account update. That's the word I'm looking for. I've been doing so many upgrade packs. That's the only words in my head right now. But an account update, I have packed a team of the year and a couple honorable mentions. So I'll show you guys that all as a part of this video. But if you're excited for Future Stars, make sure to hit a thumbs up because Future Stars is always a big boy promo with a lot of great content. And it seems like they're going to that winter wild cards level this year with a swaps program already set in place. Also, if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. But let's take a look at Future Stars, what we know about this promo in general, and then dive into some of the leaks and some of the players that we expect to see as soon as this Friday on this game. Foot 21 Future Stars, just like the past couple years. I think this promo is three years old now. FIFA 19 was the first year that we had it. And it's basically the youngsters, right? All U23 players uh, are given these some of the biggest and what do they call these? The brightest breakthrough talents. 23 years old and under who have shown high potential get boosted card stats. And it's a great promo to come right after Team of the Year because you have all these Team of the Year cards with the big names, with the big guns, and then you put out these really high-rated cards with insane stat boosts, cards that you normally don't use in FIFA. That's why these, this promo has a draw, right? You're never going to use Kamavinga or Dest, or last year you wouldn't have ever used Kulusevski in FIFA until they got these big boosts for the potential that they could have as their career progresses, right? That's why Future Stars is just dope. And the players they released last year, the content they released, this is a big hitter promo. People love Future Stars, and I think that's gonna continue this year as well. So that's starting this Friday. Team One is gonna be coming out this Friday. Of course, we already had the swap stuff that is out, and we have some leaks. That's what I wanna take a look at. We already have not just Team One, but Team One and Team Two already leaked on Twitter. So this Friday, this is the team that we should be seeing in packs. Star studded Bellingham being the leader of this team. I guess the poster boy, you could say. Chow many would be a very popular item. A lot of people would like to get their hands on. Smith Rowe, Vlahovic, Cunha, Botman, Trincao, Poro, Konati, I think would be a very interesting card. And Dick is going to be a really good center back in the Bundesliga. And then Damsgaard, kind of interested for that one as well. I believe, does Damsgaard, he might have five-star skills. I'll have to check up on that. But this Team 1 looks really, really good. Actually, Team 2 looks better, and we'll talk about that in a second. But again, from this team, you've got Jude Bellingham, right? You just had a Holland card that was in honorable mentions. That's a nice link to that item. You've got Smith Rowe, right, from Arsenal. That's a big Premier League player, English links. Chow Many, with all the hype that he has had this year with his uh, couple informs. He was a perfect player to be included for future stars. There's going to be a, a lot of really usable items in here. And the best thing about future stars is the pack weight is really high. And with the way prices are on this game this year, I think the future stars items of this year's game are going to be so cheap. And it's going to be very interesting to see how this pack weight and how these cards turn out on the market later on this week. And we'll talk more about that as we get there. But this is team one. These are the cards we would expect to be in packs 
this Friday, the 4th of February. Now, Team 2, and you're like, Nate, I don't care about Team 2. That's still like two weeks away. Well, we're still going to look at it because there are some even bigger names in Team 2. Florian Wirtz, Pedri finally getting a special card. Graven Birch, Lacroix, the Wolfsburg French center back. Daka, Brian Hill, who actually just transferred on loan. I'm not sure how EA is going to do this. Um, are they going to add in his new loan item? Because I believe he went to Valencia or Villarreal. I keep getting it mixed up. Um, but I wonder what they'll do for that. I was really hoping he'd have a Spurs card. That'd be cool. We'll have to see what they do with that. That's going to be uh, a point of interest. Nunez, Miranda, uh, Ibanez, Salisu. There's, there's some really, really cool names as a part of Team 1 and Team 2. But I think Team 2 kind of has some more hype. With Pedri, Verts, Gravenberch, Lacroix, even Daka being in there, there's some there's some big names in there, right? So Future Stars looks like it's going to be a W promo, and it looks like EA is going kind of all out with it. Now again, like I said, and you guys have seen this already, there's already Future Stars related content. We already kind of see the card design here on the screen. We got like yellow, like we have almost every color under the rainbow in that card design. That is. Kind of a wild card design, I'll be completely honest. But we already have Frimpong, which there's two versions of, and a Connor Gallagher, which a lot of people are excited about, as rewards for the Future Star swap tokens. Now, we already have these swap tokens available. There's a couple ways that you can go and get them. This exact thing, these the swap tokens kind of set up, yes, it's like icon swaps, but what this is more really like, it's like winter wild card swaps all over again. You have the choice of getting some of these future star players a player pick as you can see 25 tokens 25 tokens you can turn in to get a future stars player pick that could be very cool an 85 times 10 pack is available again a future stars team one pack and then you've got some other pack rewards that are in there as well so again if you guys have not found some of these tokens they're very they're very in, kind of tough to find. And, I, you know, I wouldn't have known where to look for some of this. But one thing you can always look for for these SBCs, if you want to know where these tokens are, is if you see the plus. See on this Maldini, how he's got a plus on the outside of his card? That means there's a token, right? EA kind of showed us how to look for those during winter wild cards. Same thing with how it looks like it's going to be with future stars you can see the plus on the team of the year challenge sbcs too right i gotta get this a uh, hide sbc done and i gotta get this garcia because there has been four tokens released they're all still available as i'm recording this but this hide sbc goes away today so make sure if you want to get and start off on the right foot with all of these tokens make sure you're getting these sbcs done as the swaps tokens are starting to roll out now we're not going to be able to redeem them for a hot minute because on the website, this is a link, I'll put it down below in the description. This is EA's actual website. Future Stars starts on February 4th, right? There's the card design. Uh, and then they talk about the swaps tokens, right? Uh, there are going to be 28 Future Stars swap tokens. And we won't actually be able to turn them in for anything until not this Friday, but Friday the 11th of February. So it's going to be a little bit of a break. We'll get, we'll be storing up these tokens, getting them, doing the SBC's objectives. Then we'll be able to turn them in for these rewards, which again, it's just like winter wild cards. You can only do it once. Each reward can only be redeemed once. So 28 tokens. I think again, if I'm just being completely honest, 28 tokens for me, the best bet here, if you're going to go for all 28, would be the 85 plus times 10 pack. And then if you wanted a guaranteed future stars player, you could get the 88 rated Jeremy Frimpong um, for a 12 token choice, or you could get the 12 token future stars team one pack times one player. Now I want, you know, can EA sports, can we pack team two cards? The, the thing here that I'm confused about is it all says team one player pick times three options or team one pack. Well, as we've seen, team two actually has some of the better players. I would rather do my packs and have a chance at packing somebody from team two as well. So I don't know if this is going to be a team one or two player. If you, it's kind of like ones to watch where if you, you know, wait until later, you could pack both. I don't know. Hopefully we get some more correspondence on that issue. Um, but you know, that's the only thing I don't like about the future star guaranteed player packs is that they're set to team one. 
as it seems right now. So unless you really love one of these guys that's in team one, like Bellingham, Chalmany, you know, there, there is a good argument for maybe doing the player pick or the team one pack. I just feel like 25 tokens for a player pick is kind of a lot. But also if you want to go for Gallagher, that's probably going to be a pretty sick card. We don't have stats yet but I bet we'll have them soon. So that's kind of how this works. Again, look for the plus symbol on all these SBCs and objectives when they get released. It's the exact same vibes as the winter wildcard swaps. And this is going to be out for a while. I, I don't even know if it said what the end date was. It did. This is going to be out from February 20, uh, for February 11th until February 25th. So we're going to have this loading screen here for the uh, future star swap rewards for all, almost a month. It's going to be out for a really long time. You're going to be able to redeem these tokens. Now, I believe the tokens will not be, um, let's see, I think this says the tokens will be available throughout the future stars campaign. And there's going to be one token available through a pack in the foot store. So they're going to do the same thing they did during winter wild cards. And if you need to get all 28 tokens, you're going to have to do, um, you're going to have to buy one of them from inside of here, which is kind of sus in my opinion, because they're going to get people to spend FIFA points on it. It's a GG for me, yay. but I just don't like that. I, I just, I just really, really don't like that, but it is what it is. And they're going to go ahead and do that. So just be aware that there is going to be a token available from a pack in the store. So that's going to happen later on. But that's that's kind of a W, right? A lot of people like this because it's it's gameplay, it's SBCs, it's kind of like a token grind swap system. People love that. And EA seems to notice that people love that. And they've done this now for the second time this year, now with future stars as well. So that's a huge W about this promo. Now, also as a part of this promo, we have... The Foot Future Stars Academy objectives that are leaked to be coming into this game as well. Now, this is the last year uh, Renier that we had. But ba basically, you start off with a really low-level card and you complete objectives. And that card, you kind of turn it in um, and you complete more objectives to get that higher rated version. So last year, you started with a 78 Renier. You could have grinded it all the way up to an 87. Renier. So that's a W. To have this confirmed as more objective content, there's going to be a lot of content flowing during Future Stars. That's how it always is. It's always high level content. So I'm very excited for this promo and we're going to talk about it more as the week goes on. But I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about that Future Star swap reward specifically because I know it can get confusing, especially after Winter Wild Cards. And again, I wanted to talk about the cards that were leaked. If that kind of puts you in the mindset of maybe I want to save some packs for a card or for a player that is coming in future stars that I really love. So that's kind of all the future stars talk for today. We'll of course look at it more as we get more information down the road this week. I know it's early, but that's kind of where this this game is heading right now, right? And then I think as we transition transition to start talking about the market, I think you're seeing people already like, all right, team of the year, you know, I've opened my packs, I've done some upgrade SBCs, and I had my fun, right? And maybe I'm still doing some upgrades. Maybe I'm still trying to pack a team of the year or whatever. But a lot of people I think are just like, okay, I have coins. I've done the SBCs I want to do. I'm going to go buy my team. I'm going to go play this game and use these players that are now in the game that are really cheap for team of the year cards. And you're seeing a lot of their prices go up. Team of the years and team of the year honorable mentions. And, you know, the whole market in general, especially after rewards, you know, that Sunday night into Monday time frame. that's when I bought... Uh, I bought Donnarumma at 205,000 coins. He's now up to 230K, so a really nice rise on him. But a lot of the honorable mentions are absolutely flying. I bought Rudiger for 500,000 coins flat, and this guy's almost like 600K. I'm pretty sure he's like 580 or 590. He's flying right now. It's crazy. I think it, this just has to do with, you know, a lot of the links that people are putting together with Premier League teams with Varane and Rudiger being the two uh, center backs that a lot of people want to use with that Varan flashback SBC being out as well. So he is really flying up in price right now um, at the moment. A couple of these other cards have really started to go up like Chiesa um, and even some of the other team of the year cards as well, not just honorable mentions. Um, but I really think a lot of these are going up because people went out and spent coins on teams after rewards because the, the rest of the content in this game right now is it, slowing down, right? It, it's really easy to notice and to see that it is slowing down a little bit. So I don't know if these cards are going to drop back down to where they were. Uh, like Goretzka right now, 
um, is 440K. And I picked up three of these at like 400K flat, 395 on one of them. So the fact that right now he is 440, like he's up 30, 40,000 coins with a Bellingham that is coming, that would be kind of a substitute item for this card. You know, I have a lot of these. I'll probably look to take the cash later on this week, probably at different times for all these different cards. Just depends on the item. But the market is doing really, really well right now, right? Team of the years are up. Honorable mentions are up. And honestly, like everything is up because this market just has coins, right? We talk about it so many times after big promos like this. I mean, can we just take a look at where's this second informed Conte? I have to show you this card for a second because let me just find the team of the year. I remember right before team of the year, we were like, man, second inform Conte is going to explode after team of the year. This guy has gone, he was 650K right before team of the year. That was kind of our buy price. If you were in the streams, you're like 650 for this Conte. It was very attainable. He is now 875. It helps that his team of the year card is very overpriced, but like, just look at what this market has been doing in the past few days. People have gotten their coins. They've gone out. They bought cards. Genduzzi was like 300. And, yeah, he's 340,000 coins, right? He was down at 300. And look at this. After the full team was released, especially cards are really booming. But even stuff went up even higher yesterday after rewards as this market just continues to be pushed up. So if you're looking to invest or to buy into any of these honorable cards, honorable mentions that you maybe want for your team or something like that, honestly, I don't think there's going to be a really easy entry point later on this week unless EA drops some insane content like some sort of pack upgrade SBC pack or something like that that we would not be expecting or drops a bomb on us about future stars or something. Um, I really think that it maybe will be taken into this weekend. Future stars would have to be really hype and a lot of the players would have to be really cheap. Then you might see a few cards here get sold off and a few prices drop. So that's why I'm feeling pretty safe. They're not running lightning rounds anymore as well, right? So some of these team of the year honorable mentions and the team of the year cards themselves are not getting packed as much as they were. Now, I know we have season rewards that are coming this Thursday, but those are all untradeable. And as we've learned from the first two times when season rewards have been dropped, it really doesn't impact the market that much. On, on Sunday, I was looking at Cancelo and he was like 730K and I was like, man, that's pretty cheap. Well, it ended up being really cheap because now he's already up to 830,000 coins as the best all-around player in this game. No contest, right? This card with the five-star weak foot is just crazy. This is the one, one of the team of the years that I would just love to absolutely pack. Now, of course, we would take any of them as we're still spamming a lot of packs right now, but I would absolutely love to pack that card right there. So again, this week, it's a really great time to trade. It, it is, right? Because players are bouncing around in price. You know, uh, one example here, Lewandowski was just a million coins. And now all of a sudden, Footbin is showing him at 950. So he's kind of dropped off. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind your tax. But if this would go back down to like nine, I don't know, if I saw like a 920, I, you know, how many cards do we have for Lewandowski back to like 990? You have one page, right? And he's kind of getting cheap right now later in the nighttime. This could very easily bounce back up to a million coins. So I'm going to put this on my watch list because this is the type of trading that you can do right now. Or that Goretzka that I was just looking at. Flipping cut and undercut at 410K when he was actually, as we saw, like 440, right? So maybe I sit here on this Goretzka while Flippin shows an undercut, try to snag him at 410, get some snipes and, and, you know, do some quick flipping that way. The market is just very healthy right now. There's a lot of opportunity to make some really good flips on this market, on this game, because people have coins, right? So that part of the market is up. A lot of the meta market has risen. Other out-of-pack special cards across this game as well. We can do a really, really quick run through at a few of these like winter wild cards, maybe like Lucas Mora over 600,000 coins. Sterling was over 400K. Zlatan is back up from being really low. Uh, Marshall still 630,000 coins. Now, some cards are still down a bit, right? You know, like the Jonathan David winter wild cards got destroyed because he got an honorable mention. Yeah, that makes sense. Spin has over 200,000 coins once again. Um, some other items that are maybe a bit, I haven't even looked at these versus fire cards, but Hey Zeus is 815. Like that's, that's crazy high. Kunde got a new card. So he's down Rashford's 500 K that's up. So across the market, a lot of this stuff is up, including SBC fodder, because right now, again, people have coins. This fodder is really high. 33,000 coins for 88s. Lewandowski is at 81 K. Benzema is a cheaper 92 rated card for fodder than gold Lewandowski. That's kind of crazy. Um, Oblak 62 K Kane, 
you know, Neuer, Ter Stegen, basically 50K a pop. So all of your fodder is really, really high because people have coins and there's a ton of SBCs that are out to do. So maybe as a part of Tuesday content today, they give us another SBC. I really don't know. I'm, I'm really curious to see what they do for Tuesday content today. Um, I'm just ripping packs right now and crafting. I, I crafted the Dest SBC. I'm in the middle of doing the mid or prime icon upgrade. I have my sights set on Varane, Giroud. Um, there's another player SBC that I would like to do as well. Finish the mid prime. Varane, Giroud, and there's somebody else. I mean, oh, Paqueta. Yeah, yeah. I would love to get Paqueta done in the next three days. So, yeah, I think right now, you know, a lot of you guys maybe have opened your packs. Like, man, I didn't get any team of the years. Gold rares, as a part of the market being up, gold rares are up as well. I believe if we take a look, all of these gold rares are like 1,000 coins or 1,100 coins a pop. Uh, and these were even like 1.3 to 1.4K because the people that are still out doing the upgrade packs, they're paying what they have to pay uh, to, to get these cards and to do those premium upgrade packs to try to pack team of the year. So besides those upgrade packs right now, and maybe finishing off some SBCs, I think that's why the market went up again, because a lot of people have coins and they've run out of their things that they wanted to do. And now they're just going out and buying some players, uh, and getting that stuff done. So that's kind of a overview of the market. We'll dive in deeper, of course, later on this week, maybe another opportunity to trade slash buy flip maybe invest a little bit on honorable mentions we'll see if there's any panic that is caused so we'll keep an eye on that but i think really for tuesday content today maybe we get some sort of upgrade pack 85 times three maybe an 84 plus player pick something like that filler content ea can throw in until we get to future stars this weekend and then i would expect another future star swaps token today whether it's SBCs, whether it's objectives I think those are going to be continually rolling out because they've got 28 tokens to give out and it's going to basically take 28 days. So it's going to be like one token per day. Maybe they'll double up on some and then back off on another, but there's going to be continual tokens coming out. So just make sure you keep an eye out for those. And then a little bit of update of what I'm doing. So a lot of you guys are like, Nate, you were on vacation. Did you open any packs, right? I still have a ton of my big boy packs, 82 times 25. I've got my like 80... Uh, one times 11, you know, for all the attacker, midfielder, defender type stuff. I've still got all these premium upgrade packs that I'm still doing here. I'm just, I'm doing the, the craft, right? Maybe we pack a team that you're right here in the video. That'd be insane. Okay. Wow. I have my sights set really high. Um, but I, I'm doing the craft, right? I'm doing the smart things when I get dupes. I'm going and rinsing them into the lower tier upgrades or the 81 plus double. I haven't done too many of those, but I think I'm going to rinse a decent amount of my pulls that I get from that into that SBC. There's just a ton to do on the grind right now. I still have a lot of coins. I want to put at least a million more coins into upgrade packs throughout the rest of this week. So that's what I'm going to be doing because a lot of you guys opened your packs. I haven't had a chance to do that as much yet. So I'm going to be doing that. I did open a few packs on mobile and yesterday on stream when I got back. So my big pull so far has been Hakimi. I got that on mobile from like my first 15 League One premium packs. That was a W pull. That's going to be right back in, in the team for the rest of the year. And then of course, I packed another right back today with Kyle Walker, honorable mentions. And then I packed two of these Mendes, who's like the most popular honorable mention. But you know what? I'll take it, right? I'm, I'm not too fussed so far. I just need to keep adding team of the years to the count. Yesterday on Monday, for most people, seemed like a pretty dry day pretty dry day for a lot of team of the year pack pulls. So that's why uh, I, I went a little bit slower yesterday um, on, you know, some of those packs and, and crafting and doing some of that stuff. So I'm going to continue doing that later on this week and trying to get the best possible pulls that I can. But as you can see, I have a lot of coins here. It's actually about four and a half to five million coins now on the transfer list. Rudiger at 500, Rudiger at 502, Donnarumma is in the low 200k range Goretzka 405 Kiesa's at 260 250 I'm just kind of listing these for lazy buyers right now as you can see I've already got some Holland a Holland to go at 597 when he's 500k I got two Teo Hernandez to go at 297 uh, and he's like 270 so that was kind of dope um, so that was nice as well but that's just kind of the name of the game right now I feel like a lot of people we've had such a hype team of the year but the content's really slowing down. There's not a lot of leaks. We did have Giroud, which was nice. It was cool. But a lot of people are now in that mode where we're starting to look towards future stars, especially with the swaps program that is out. So I know that's a lot to talk about, a lot of information, but it is so good to be back doing videos on the YouTube channel. So if you have any questions, of course, comment down below. But 
If you did enjoy this video and you're looking forward to future stars, or if you've packed any team of the years, tell me what kind of team of the years you've packed. I want to know that in the comments too. Some of you guys have been tweeting me stuff while I was gone, but tell me in the comments if you've packed any team of the years. Again, if you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>